Hi, hello, good evening, my officers. Am I audible and visible to you people now? Yes, Kriti, good evening. Hi, Soham Pratosh. Yes, Ganesh. Yes, everybody. Is everything fine now? Perfect. Now I can see your messages as well. Good, good. So here we go. We are here with part 17 of the most important economy current affairs hit list topics for the upcoming UPSC prelims 2021 examination. So this is a regular live series which happens continuously guys. And now we have covered up to 70 topics in yesterday's class. So today we'll be discussing another set of five important hit list topics to the point. Instead of spending, let's say, uh, you know, half a page or one page in one particular topic, just in five to six points, we'll be covering one particular current affairs along with the conceptual clarity as and when it is required. So here are the amazing topics that you have. One is transparent taxation, honoring the harness platform. So the very first topic itself is talking about the Kallatranwala perspective, I mean the taxation. But now still, we, we are kind of trying to make it more efficient, more transparent. So in that context, you have a topic. Followed by RBA relaxes norms for deployment of ATMs by white label players. Then the next important hit list topic, that is solar manufacturing in India. Because that is again coming under the renewable source of energy. So the topic solar itself is again an important topic. Followed by green term ahead market. What is GTAM? That is also in association with the above topic, that is solar. Highly connected. Both the topics. They are in the context of solar and renewable source of energy. Clear? Because last year question paper also you had topics from solar. Like the Pradhan Mandri Kusum scheme and all. Followed by again, once again, the renewable energy ka topic. That is energy transition index report. This is what you will be studying all throughout today's class. Clear all of you? Now before going to the class, as you all know, this is Nishan Ujimuti. Your expert in Indian economy current affairs and MCQ. So... In the description box of this particular video, I would tell all you people to click the link of my Academy profile. Why? Because it will take you to my Academy profile wherein you can find all the details of my classes. My plus class, my free class, my batch courses, etc. Et this will enable you to have a clear cut idea of uh, what are the courses that I'm doing in the plus platform and also in the free platform Fun Academy. Clear? So make sure that you follow me here as well. At the same time, be it plus or be it free class, guys, use the code NISHA IAS Life. I repeat, NISHA IAS Life. That will enable you to get extra 10% discount and also to come under the personal mentoring program. Yes, Sai Soham Ra Rawali, uh, Silent Night. Yes, what is it? Only current affairs, ma'am. This class is pertaining to the economy current affairs. In the plus class, you have NCRT classes of mine. You have current affairs weekend batch course. If you see every Saturday, Sunday, we have a weekend batch course happening. Take care. So it is a weekly wrap of the current affairs. Very important classes. 3 p.m. to 5 p.m. Without fail attack that. All those are paid classes. Yes, so home free classes going on. Yeah, yeah. It will start from tomorrow. Take care. Yes, Ravali. Hello, madam. This year I'm going to give attempt. So this will be helpful to me. Obviously, you are keeping yourself updated with regard to the concepts, with regard to the current affairs. So this is a continuous process in your preparation journey as well. Clear? Perfect. <clears throat> so here we go. Silent night. The timing is 3 to 5 for the plus class. You can just go to the profile and you can find out. Okay? Towards the end, I'll show you all the uh, you know courses once again. So without wasting much of time, here we go, my young officers, transparent taxation, honoring the harness platform is the very first topic of today's class. So now recently, if you see, so many efforts were done to make a reform with regard to the direct tax arrangements. And one thing which I want to tell you people is in yesterday's class, do you remember, I taught you something called as direct tax. In that, there was a need for reforming the direct taxes. The concept plus the current affairs pertaining to that and also the indirect taxes, that is GST, we covered. Now, keeping in mind that particular topic, for you to have a better understanding only today, as a continuation, I've taken this topic again. So you'll be able to revise the previous topics also with much of ease. So this is a way you have to study, studying in a structured manner, in a scheduled manner with, re with regard to the related current affairs topics of economy. So you will have a proper track. Clear? Otherwise, simply studying for tough at one, two, three topics from there doesn't make a sense. When you study, also study in a structure, study in a connected manner. While choosing the topic, also put them in a uh, you know proper connection perspective. 
then only you will get the per complete benefit clear so here we go let's quickly have a look into what are the so called reforms or changes with regard to the direct tax arrangement we all know that yes samta we all know the direct tax is something where the incidence and the burden is paid by the same person for example the income tax the property tax the wealth tax the corporate tax all these are examples of direct taxes now people tend to evade or escape paying what indirect uh, sorry direct taxes they will find ways and means to do uh, you know corruptions or kallatharams and they just want to uh, you know escape from paying the taxes i should tell you don't you think so yes so now in order to prevent people from evading and escaping taxes and to make the taxation platform more transparent and to uh, make sure that people are not doing kallatharams the so called reform with regard to direct tax was brought in clear so in this particular concepts uh, this particular topic now you will study few concept like face less assessment face less appeal etc etc so let me quickly uh, tell you what those are yes just went there good evening so here we go now such kind of transparent taxation theek hai why it is brought in as i told you in order to make it more simplified the tax and system and also to reward all the tax payers you are honest see we can't say that everybody does kallatharam or let's say the corruption wala perspective there are few uh, you know acha wala people also yaar hai na <laughs> so we have to reward the honest tax payer so now as a part of the transparent taxation some of the main features of this uh, you know honoring the honest platform uh, they are the features are one is face less assessment second is face less appeal and third is tax payer charter so you'll be thinking that what are these concepts so let me quickly tell you what these are all about in a simple manner now face less assessment means between the tax payer for example if i am an income tax payer and let's say for example you uh, one of you is the income uh, you know income tax officer now when i have a good connection with you i will do some kallatharam some bribery or something and i can get the things done doesn't mean that i will do that <laughs> i am just telling you an example so the whole point is in order to eliminate the direct contact between the tax payer and the income tax officer only really, such kind of assessment is done so the chances of people doing corruptions or kallatharams or tie ups will be eliminated and what they will do here is they will the selection of tax payer okay that will be again done with the help of technology that is these days everywhere ai what is ai artificial intelligence that is on the rise we all know that right so they will use data analytics and artificial intelligence guys to select the tax payers so now everything is transparent you can't do any sort of golmal in that you got the point and along with that if you see on a similar lines the cbid that is central board of indirect tax and customs they also because the direct tax is doing this now they also rolled out faceless assessment of consignments under the turin customs because uh, when there is a face less assessment obviously things become more transparent you do not know who is income tax officer who is coming to radio you do not know who is a tax payer so the tie up or the kind of contact is not happening so the chance of kallatharam is reduced and honesty or let's say transparency is more there that is one of the features of what honoring the honest platform called as faceless assessment what is appeal guys faceless appeal something in this particular context itself let's quickly have a look into it theek hai here the appeals what they will do is they'll randomly allot to any officer you do not know who is officer who will uh, do the calculation or let's say the other perspective and the identity of the officer that will be uh, you know unknown you got the point the identity of the officer will remain unknown so that is one thing which you know uh, need to understand clear so again that is something which is making uh, the taxation system more efficient and next is tax payer charter charter is a kind of schedule i can say so what they will do in this tax payer charter is they will outline the rights and responsibilities not only of the tax payers even the tax officers as well because we can't say that only the tax payers are doing kallatharam are the tax officers also also do kallatharam believe me that is something uh, you know which is to be understood okay is it very clear all of you regarding these three concepts yes
I can't see your messages. Yes, guys. Okay. Yes, Kriti. Kriti Sharma, what is it? In fact, seems like Kallathara on the peak. Yes, yes, it could be. Anyways. Yes, Ravanth. Okay. So now I can see your messages. <clears throat> so here we go. Yes, Smith, you can ask your question. So now basically through such kind of honoring the tax platform with the faceless assessment, the faceless appeal and the taxpayer charter, you will be able to maintain the privacy and also confidentiality of income taxpayers. That is very much there, guys. So that is one thing which has to be there. Don't you think so? At the same time, now the whole objective is, as I told you, to eliminate corrupt practices. So you will be able to, that too, that too, you will be, uh, do, uh, you know, uh, you will be able to do that by doing away with the territorial jurisdiction of income tax offices. This is how they does it. Very clear? Yes, Jaswinder, what is it, ma'am? Sound. You mean background wala sound? Or mera sound hai? Kya was yaar? Yes, Pradosh, that was a ringtone of somebody else's phone. I know. It's a Tamil, uh, you know, Vijay Wala song. I said, there is a recent movie called as Master. <laughs> that is the intro song of that movie. Anyways. Yeah, it's uh, uh, BGM, yeah. Oh my goodness, the moment I said master people, I, I don't understand here. Come on, tell me. Are you listening to class or are you listening to everything that happens around? So sharp you people are. You do not even, uh, you know, miss one point. Kya baat hai? Yes, Smith, but yeah, regarding your current affairs cutout, regarding today's editorial, if you want to have a better an, an analysis of that, come for tomorrow's 3 p.m. current affairs class. The weekly wrap-up of current affairs are doing the plus platform. Clear? Here we go. The next important topic of today's class is in the context of banking. That is the central bank of a country, RBI. Okay? They relax norms for deployment of ATMs, your automated teller machines. By what? By white label players. What is this white or black label? We know black label very well. I know that. People know black label better. But here we are talking about the white label. Okay? Let's quickly have a look into what it is. So now the whole point is there is something called as WLATM. That is white label ATM players. It is said that they will have a manageable annual target rather than stiff run rates, guys, which will be set up under the license term in the year 2012. So based on this particular context only, I'm going to study. Clear? So you'll be thinking, what are white label players? What is this ATM? Why would you actually deploy ATMs, white label players and all? For that, you should know what is white label players in simple term. Let me tell you what that is. I know you would have heard about green label and uh, other label. <laughs> not, uh, not your tea powder, guys. This is something else. Take care. So now, these white label players, or let's say the white label uh, ATM, okay, they are set up, owned, and operated. By whom? By non-bank entities. That is, in ATM, you get your cash. So now the cash in ATM, who gives that to you? The sponsored bank. Whereas the ATM machine does not have any branding of bank. See, you go to a SBI ATM, you go to a Kerala Bank ATM, Axis Bank Wala ATM, HDFC, whatever. Even if you do not have account in these banks also, for different banks you can withdraw. From SBI itself you can withdraw money. If you have an account in ICIC, HDFC, whatever, you can withdraw. So now the whole point is this particular machine, they do not have any branding of bank as such. You got the point. So now what happens is that through such kind of uh, white label players or ATM, it will help in increasing geographical spread of ATMs. And that too, the reason why they're saying this is there is something called as financial inclusion. We all know that the bigger object of government and that can happen only by opening bank accounts and making people to do more and more bank activity and transaction, especially in the rural area and semi-urban area. So to have a spread of ATMs and bank, banks operationalized in the semi-urban and rural area, only such kind of things are brought in. And if you want and if you see that to have such kind of uh, white label ATMs, 
the companies will have to get license from the central bank of a country rb because it talks about the cash and the banking perspective right only then they can run the business under what the payment and settlement system act of 2007 did you understand all of you yes pradosh in cash atm you mean they are also largest yes obviously we can take an example of that as well Yes, Rao. In ATMs are installed by non-bank entities. I mean the white label ATMs. You got the point. Yes, Vinita. Okay. Yes, Kriti. What about green and black label? I'll come to that point after this. Take care. Now, the next important point with regard to the uh, you know white label ATM is that the Tata Communication Payment Solution Limited, which uh, Pradosh told in the class a couple of seconds before, your Inti Cash. I can tell you that they are the very first company which has been authorized by the Central Bank of our country that is our way to open white label uh, ATMs in our country. You can keep this in mind. This is a very very important uh, statement with regard to the prelims exam as well. Clear? And now, by the way, who is the authority or uh, the organization who links all the ATMs in India? Of course, the NPCI, which comes under the Power of RBI, National Payment Corporation of India. That is also another important line to be noticed. Clear? Now, let's, let me quickly tell you a few important uh, points with regard to the same topic. Earlier, if you see, there are so many schemes, take care, which placed ratio requirements. Let, let, that is, what is the number of ATMs you have to set up in tier 3 to tier 6 center? And what are the numbers of ATMs that you have to install in uh, tier 1 to tier 2 centers or uh, places as such? But today, if you see, it has to be, uh, you know, widespread. Even the rural and the semi-urban or semi rural area, it has to be widespread for the object of attaining financial inclusivity for the country India as a whole. And now, do not get confused guys, there is something called as brown label ATM. This so called white label ATM is different from brown label ATM. That is why I told you the example of Indy Cash. Now, look at this carefully. White label, the color white, they are owned by non-banking entities. Whereas brown matlab, the opposite one. They are owned by, owned and branded by banks. But, though they are owned and branded by one particular commercial bank, let's say state bank or Kendra bank also, the operation and the maintenance is done by the third party operators. That is the major difference between brown label ATMs and white label ATMs. Did you understand all of you in simple terms? Clear? That's all what you should study with regard to this particular topic. Nothing much is required. To the point should be to, to should do. So now I can see a question uh, from Kriti. So in this context, we have a question called as what is green and black label? So when you study about white label ATM and brown label ATM, you should know what is a green label ATM. What is green label ATM? Very simple. See, the keyword green talks about what? Environment. But here the keyword green talks about agriculture. So green label ATM in simple terms is nothing but they are provided for the purpose of agriculture. Take care. And now, to your interest, you know something, there are dusra wala color also, orange wala color here, that is orange label ATM, what is orange label ATM? See, these and all just one one line you need to know is enough, brown label and uh, your white label is very important and green label means provided for what the agriculture, matlab for the farmers, whereas the orange wala is for whom guys? Orange label ATM, they are provided for the purpose of share transaction, when share transactions come, that is orange ATM. I mean, orange label ATM. Matla for agriculture, for the farmers means green label ATM. Now, what about pink label ATM, guys? Pink. Pink is a color associated with females. So, think like that. So, now the trick is pink label ATM. It is provided for the purpose of women banking. Now, there is something called as yellow wala, uh, ATM. Yellow, yellow, dirty fellow, you say, na? So, similarly, yellow is associated with e-commerce. So, yellow label ATM are provided for the purpose of what? E-commerce, which is quite popular these days. Did you understand? That's it. This is what you should know with regard to the different, uh, you know, type of white label, brown label, yellow, or and subcuts like that. Nothing more is required. Just one, one, one point here. That should do. Clear? That's all. Moving on to the next important topic of the day. That is solar manufacturing in India. Now, solar manufacturing is quite important. Okay, because this is a hitless topic as I keep telling you. <clears throat> yes, what is it, Soham?
Yes, Kriti. They how are how we determine the col uh, these colors of labels, ma'am? They are on ATM machine. See, it will be for that specified purpose with the simple assets. They'll be having it. See, you have you seen Indi Cash? If you go to an ATM, you can see that yellow wala color, not yellow. It is uh, that blue and red wala simple and Indi Cash will be written now. Similarly, for every sort of ATMs like this, they will have uh, the simple there. That is the images. I'll show you. Wait. You can see the colors there. Clear? So, um, black label, uh, actually, I was making a joke of black label, actually. <laughs> black label is something else. You go search and see, you'll understand. Anyways, back to the topic of discussion, guys. The 73rd topic of today's class is from the subject area infrastructure. So recently, if you see a country, India, we received a lot of proposals for setting up of, uh, you know, gigawatts of solar equipment manufacturing capacity. That is, we all know that we have to start relying on more and more renewable source of energy because that is what this generation requires. Not only this generation, even the upcoming generation requires in the context of sustainable development. You got the point. Now, as far as solar is concerned, our country, India, being a, uh, you know, being a blessed with solar energy more, we have to develop it. The only point is we have to end up paying more because we need for the uh, solar energy or whatever because of lack of uh, people coming up with the manufacturing only the price is high. But once you are able to produce uh, enough number of uh, solar products or let's say solar things then it will become quite uh, less clear. And now let's quickly have a look into why was such a proposal received for our country India. It is because of our potential, point number one. And second is it is very, very important that we are really going for the manufacturing of such kind of solar equipment. We keep importing uh, uh, a lot of raw materials, guys, for the manufacturing of solar products. But why do we really do that? We can actually reduce the import and start producing the same in our own country. In that notion also, many discussions were going on. Clear? So here we go. Talking about the renewable energy generation capacity of a country, India, I can tell you, come on, we are doing great because we are the fourth largest in the entire world, guys, for the renewable energy generation capacity. Solar energy, wind energy, thermal, sub kuch like that. And if you see currently, you know, what is our capacity? 136 gigawatt, which is 36% total capacity. And I can tell you, compared to all the major countries, we are growing at the fastest speed. And we want to rank number one very soon. That is why using this potential, we are trying to Take it forward. And I can tell you that the country India, we have around 9 gigawatt of annual solar module manufacturing capacity and around 3 gigawatt of annual solar cell production capacity. So what? So now you'll be thinking, what is a solar cell? See, this is nothing in the biological perspective, guys, rather in the solar perspective. So now solar cell is what? Basically the building block. Right? It's basically the building block of a solar module. Clear? So we have to actually make a point that uh, since we have the so-called capacity with that, we have to improve it to even more further extent. That is what they're trying to say. And now don't you think so? We have to increase the capacity of our solar manufacturing uh, 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 as well, obviously. So we have to increase the so-called capacity and also overcome the issues and challenges that we are facing with regard to increasing the so-called capacity. I can tell you that uh, recently, at the inauguration of the third global reinvest called as Global Renewable Energy Investment Meeting and Expo. The PM of our country, Modi, he highlighted that our country, India's demand for solar energy, come on, that is creating a market opportunity which is worth $20 billion every year. Which means look at the potential our country, India is having. And what is Global Reinvest? It is an investor's meet, okay? That is people who are put up in the uh, renewable energy uh, investments and all. So this Global Renewable Energy Investment Meeting of Energy Investors, uh, it is organized officially by the Ministry of New and Renewable Energy. That too, with an association of collaboration with World Bank and others. Basically, how to improve the renewable source of energy, what are the things that you should do to push up as far as the country India is concerned, which are the areas we can focus more uh, to increase the position from the fourth largest in the globe to the third and second or first very soon. Clear? Because all these are uh, all these will definitely give a way for a country India to grow to greater heights. That is why. So if you see, there are a few technologies which have been utilized for harnessing solar energy. Harnessing means what utilizing. One is solar photovoltaics. Solar PV and that is based on this uh, light perspective. Photovoltaic effect means it is by a photon. Photon means the basic, uh, basic unit of light. So it will start impacting the surface which is made of one particular material. 
because it will start generating what the release of electron see very simple guys these days even in your homes yes we need yeah yeah solar energy is very much eco friendly no doubt in that and these days if you can see many people in the home itself in their terrace they'll put the solar panels the blue color wala panels what they put up na to capture the energy and then they will use it for their home so people have slowly started the only point is it's quite costly but then yeah now it is becoming reasonable also so in order to harness solar energy directly from the sun we get it from sun right this kind of stuff is used even domestically and now the next is the next technology is called as concentrating solar power csp here what they'll do is they'll use sunlight to heat a fluid and that will depend on the particular application and all guys it can be water or any other fluid they will use that that is how they actually again harness or utilize solar energy clear that's enough the next important topic talks about green term ahead market now this is also in the context of solar energy only recently the crc that is central electricity regulatory commission they approved something called as a contract a contract for the solar uh, energy guys that is green term ahead market and that do they did that on the iex cup platform that is indian energy exchange platform they approved the contract so let's quickly have a look into what that is all about now this particular uh, you know approval or let's say this step came after the rtm that is real time market trading guys because that was approved way back in the year 2020 in the par exchanges they are saying that in order to penetrate or let's say in order to uh, you know make the renewable source of energy more in our country this renewable penetration in the country is when it is increasing obviously the participation of all the renewable energy your solar your wind and everything in the existing dam and tm segment that will also show greater results clear but then if you see there are few things to be noticed now we are talking about the renewable source of energy but then they also have few issues and challenges don't you think so compared to the convection or the traditional source of uh, power now to overcome the issues they are facing even the penetration of renewable energy only an alternative new model called as green term ahead market was introduced you got the point that is one thing to be understood yes uh, creative need more reforms government should concentrate on these obviously they have to that is why i'm telling you this so basically to overcome this particular issue only the concept called as green term ahead market was introduced clear so what is this gtam basically or i can tell you that they have been particularly introduced for selling of the power by whom by the renewable developers guys that too they'll do it in the open market without even getting into any sort of long term power purchase agreements very smart they are and i can tell you that through this green term ahead market night will provide a very exclusive platform for the short term trading of renewable energy because they are focused on the short term perspective not into the long term power purchase agreement that is the speciality of the green term ahead market so you can see the results quickly and keeping uh, that in track you can uh, uh, kind of keep a track of the renewable pro energy progress and all now there are two models guys you through which the indian exchange uh, you know indian energy exchange they actually trade currently the iex now they trade through two models one is dam and one is term what is dam day ahead market and term ahead market just for you to know that is when they do the transactions of bidding or trading now when you are following transactions in electricity for a day in advance that's called as day ahead market a day ahead term ahead is when electricity is traded the same day and can take it up to 11 days near about 2 weeks in advance that's called as term ahead market clear now there is something called as rec if you want to do all these things you have to get a certificate called as renewable energy certificate what is that they are a type of market based instrument now using the certificate you will be able to provide what an economic incentive for all the electricity generation guys that took not from any sources it should exclusively be from the renewable energy source that is also one thing to be noticed in the rec that is renewable energy certificate so once an rec is created what happens i can tell you that 1 megawatt or mwr of electricity that will be generated from where from the eligible renewable energy source which it is again eco friendly i can say now these generators who are generated the renewable source of energy they can sell electricity from the renewable sources just like any other traditional or let's say conventional energy i can tell you you got the point that is how uh, the so called rec is functioning clear the certificate is valid for this particular purpose that's enough moving on to the next topic of the day that is energy transition index report now recently the so called report called as energy transition index report was put forward by whom it was released by world economic forum so let's quickly have a look into what this index is all about and what are the important points to be noticed here we go 
Now the energy transition index is nothing but it is a composite score and they consist of 40 indicators I can tell you and through this 40 indicators they will benchmark more than 100 countries approximately 115 countries based on the speed and direction of their energy transition. At the same time they will also be able to identify what identify opportunities for improvement in the context of the field of energy. And now this is the initiative guys taken by whom the World Economic Forum. The Energy Transition Index is a part of the World Economic Forum's Fostering Effective Energy Transition Initiative. In simple terms, this particular topic is also revolving in the context of what? In the context of renewable source of energy. Clear? See, uh, I will uh, say something towards the end, okay. Just remind me, I saw a message, I'll say something towards the end. I do not want to disturb the class in between, that is why. Anyways, did you understand till here? Perfect. Now, the so-called energy transition index report. Do you think such kind of index is required to keep a track of the energy transition? Obviously, you need it. That is why I can tell you that this so-called report or index, okay, based on energy, they are a continuation of the annual energy system benchmark series. And previously, if you see, this particular index was published uh, as the Energy Architecture Performance Index, EAPI. There were a series guys from 2013 to 17 but today you have uh, we are doing it in the uh, context of energy transition index report and there are two parts for this ETI that is energy transition index. One is it talks about what is the performance of the current energy system. Second is is there a proper enabling environment for the so called energy transition to take place. So these two parts are very much considered in the framework of what energy transition index report clear that's very important because what is the current performance and also the enabling environment only then you can have more and more transition of energy right that to renewable source of energy now what were the 2020 uh, findings guys that is the world economic forum now when they release the energy transition index there were few findings they said that the top countries come on again the scandinavian countries like sweden switzerland finland they were number, uh, you know, one, two, three countries. The top three countries globally is Sweden, followed by Switzerland and then Finland. What about India, China? Yeah, we are in the kind of medium category, I can say. India is 74, but one good thing is that we are far, far better than China. At least we are above China here. China is 78 and we are 74, the rank is. Take care. Now, there are, you can find uh, the gap between uh, the few countries, that is the uh, developed and the developing countries and all. Now the gap even between the top performers and the rest, it has been slowly decreasing. And that is one of the main reasons why they say for such kind of stuff is the increasing level of political commitment. At the same time, we have a very important or let's say an improving access for all the money or capital which is required for investment in the emerging economy. Now this particular statement or let's say the point what I'm referring to is exclusively in the context of India. Because we are the emerging economies, right? That is why. This is exclusively for our country. India, this particular point is mentioned. Because here, the political commitment towards the increasing the energy, renewable energy is kind of increasing every now and then, right? That is what the previous topic you studied. Green term ahead market. Then, the topic before that, solar manufacturing capacity. We are trying to increase it every now and then. You got the point. See, today's topics, topic number 73, 74, 75. It is highly connected. You can see a series of flow in the topics. So when you study like this, what happens for Tafat? The topics related to the all these current affairs, the related ones will be covered with the proper flow. So we'll be able to memorize and for the long term memory retention, it will be useful for you people as well. Clear? So that's all my young officer. So yes, let me just quickly have a look into the message put by RK. RK is saying blah, 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 kuch samaj mein nahi arahi, madam. Okay, if it is blah, 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 you make it na, na, na and you start singing blah, 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 shinka song, you'll understand everything. You focus here, yeah. If you focus here, everything will come to your brains. There is nothing that cannot come to your brain. Take care. Anyways, is it very clear for all of you? Perfect. Any doubt, any queries? 
So don't forget to like, share and put your valuable feedbacks in the comment box. Clear? So thank you so much my young officers. Once again a small reminder to you people. Like this guys even. In the On Academy South channel called as Namma Ace Academy. Okay. I am doing sessions for just 10 minutes. 7.30 p.m. to 7, uh, you know, 40 p.m. 10 minutes, most important economy topics. 60 days, 60 important topics will be discussed. So it is going on. What you do is you can follow the channel for uh, <clears throat> more updates. Clear? And also, as usual, 9.30 p.m., we have the so-called Economy Current Affairs happening in Articulate Channel. And on this Sunday, in the Namma IAS Academy, I will be live in morning time. So, I will tell you, uh, it will be probably uh, an interesting topic for you people. That is the entire money and banking. I repeat, the entire money and banking, like a fact file. Okay. In one hour, quickly, everything that you should know from this particular topic will be discussed for you for the UPSC prelims examination. So that in that one hour, I'll be doing that in the YouTube only in the uh, another YouTube channel, Namma Ace Academy. Clear? It will be on Sunday. Yes, Pradosh, it is Independence Day Wala special. <laughs> yeah. So I thought I should, uh, you know, do this for you people as well. It will be morning only, Priya. Probably morning 11 only it will be. Morning 11 or so. I'll tell you the timing. I'm not fixed at all. Because night 9.30, uh, help me see, but night 9.30, I'm not sure. We'll keep in the morning times, else we'll keep in the evening times. Because your special classes have to go on, that is also there. Yes, uh, Kriti, ma'am, what I face sometimes is uh, getting confused with these abbreviations. How can this be overcome? Very simple, Kriti, take a piece of paper, start having a habit of writing the abbreviations. The, the, the keyword, the abbreviation, stick it on the top of your uh, room or wall or wherever in an order manner, topic wise and subject wise. And every now and then you keep revising them, not just like that, you'll be able to understand. Clear? Yes, Varma Sharma, see you in Namma Yes, ma'am. That is a, uh, you know, daily for 10 minutes we do have that Varma. And uh, 9.30 I'll be live on Articulate channel as always. Shalom. So yes, any other doubts, any other queries, anything else you want to know, all of you. Yes. And tomorrow you see at 3 p.m. Have a look into this. Course and Current Affairs, the weekly wrap. Okay. <clears throat> Yes, Priya, I know that you're very much worried about the, uh, you know, special classes. It will come in soon. Probably by tomorrow itself. Don't worry. I'm just planning for the session. So nothing to worry. Take care. You'll get the links. You can, uh, you know, enroll accordingly. Can you see you have the weekend schedules of the current affairs class tomorrow, 3 p.m. to 5 p.m. So enroll for this weekly wrap. It will be quite useful. All your doubts, queries, of course, will be clear. Take care. So yes, thank you so much my young officers. I'll see you all tomorrow at 9.30 for the same live session. And also in Namma Eyes Academy YouTube channel for the South Indians. Again, classes are in English. For 10 minutes, most important economy topics will be discussed. You can even Google my name, Nishan Ujubuddin, to know more about my profiles and other things to stay in touch. Clear? So don't forget to like, share, subscribe and put your valuable feedbacks in the comment box. And one more thing, I forgot to tell you guys. Uh, check out the description box of this particular video. I think it is uploaded, updated. Let me check. Okay, chalo, it's not updated. No issues. The playlist of this series. A lot of people were asking me, ma'am, we want the playlist of this uh, economy series because 17 parts, it becomes quite difficult for you to keep getting it back, right? So I have created a playlist as well. So this will be useful for you people to keep revising from part 1 to part 17. That is whichever part we are completing on a regular basis. Clear? Perfect. So the playlist links also I will uh, send it to you. <clears throat> Chalo. So yes, thank you so much. Uh, my young officer, see you all tomorrow. 
Till then, good night, Shubhratri. Have a tight sleep and get up in the morning and make sure that your brains are very much fresh to revise all what you studied. And keep in mind one thing, the three R and three Ds of life which I taught you. The three R, read, revise, repeat and the three Ds, determination, dedication, discipline. Take care. So bye-bye. Chalo. Good night. Thank you.